Hello everyone, so in this video I'll show you how to use open menus uh, locally. So for this we are in the github page for open menus and we will grab the URL. Then we'll go to our terminal and we do a git clone. And once this is done, we will go to the directory open menus and then the first thing that we will do here is create a virtual environment so for that we will do python 3 um, dash m v e n v and we'll call it v e n v once this is done we will activate this source sorry uh, so you know, source v e n v slash bin activate so now our open our uh, uh, virtual environment is activated uh, the next thing we'll do is we'll install all the requirements so if we go and see this requirements.txt here they have uh, all these uh, dependencies which are required to run this project so for that we will install everything at once so we can do it by doing pip install uh, r q i r e m e and this requirements dot text so all the requirements all the dependencies are getting installed so in the meantime i want to show you this space so this is the platform.openapi.com and from here we can uh, we need a api key to run this project so if we go and see this um, there is a directory called config and in config.example.2ml we have all these um, all these LLMs and LLM.vision where you can use different uh, LLM model and API endpoints so here they are using Claude 3.7 Sonnet and this is from Anthropic and you need to put this uh, API key so for this tutorial we'll be using uh, open API and we'll be using GPT 4.0 so for that we will need to create a API key so let's see if this is done already okay this is done so let's open this project and then and then let's go to config and this config.example.2ml so what we can do is we can just do copy and we'll create a new file and we'll call it config.2ml and we'll just paste this here and then as I said instead of this we will use gpt4 and then for base URL it will be api. So we'll do openai.com and for api key we'll go to our platform.openai.com and we'll need to create a new secret key so first delete this one i'm just going to delete this because i've used this in other projects so i'll just create a new one and i'll call it manus and default project and create a secret key so once we have this secret key we'll just copy this click done we'll go to this our secret key here so our configuration is all done now we need to run this main.py so for that we'll just do python3 main.py and it's working and now it's asking for a prompt so for the prompt i'll just ask uh, it so before doing this actually i'll show you the uses so these this is the uses of the api so far so today i've used like 12 cents and currently total spend is for 42 cents so let's see when we ask uh, something simple just like um sydney weather today so it's going through the web search and it's opening a browser window this is chromium and it's um it's just displaying the temperature but 
I think it should collect that. Yeah, so it collects that information and it's it's printing that in the console. So Sydney for Monday, mostly sunny, all that. I think all this information is from is from the uh, website that it opened. And yep. So 20.7 degrees Celsius. So now let's see how much we spent. So 42 cents. Let's refresh this page. Okay, as you can see, we spent like three cents. So 42 and now it's 45. So spent spent three cents for this request. And if you want, you can create a UI for this. Um, um, it depends on your use case. So yeah, so that's it. That's it for this.